one tarnation? Uh, I meant to do that. Howdy folks, this is Apple Geek. I'm back for My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic Season 8. Um, got a new intro, as I'm sure you have all noticed by now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot, a lot of fun making that. I uh, was able to utilize that piece of artwork I got a while back from, uh, used to be known as Tomberry Queen X on DeviantArt, now as Elfruna on DeviantArt. Uh, so yeah, it's an awesome piece of artwork. I finally got a chance to use it, so that was fun. Um, and yeah, uh, I've got a new friend in the back here, uh, Wallflower Blush in pony form. Got that from the very talented Nero Flatermouse. So, uh, yeah, Daybreaker's got a new friend now. Nero made both of those. So, awesome, awesome plushies. Go check her out if you want a custom OC plushie made or something. She loves doing OCs. All right. Uh, for the season in the premiere coming up here, I basically know nothing at, at this point about what's going to happen in the premiere. I have managed to avoid practically everything regarding, you know, animatics, no, you know, whatever, but... Guys, seriously, stop dropping the spoilers. My channel manager has been working overtime, deleting comments like crazy off my wishlist video and other videos and stuff. And I'm sure people will still do it no matter what I say, but honestly, you don't want me to know stuff. I don't want to know stuff because I want to be surprised when it happens because that results in a better reaction. It's more fun for me, more fun for you guys. So, And even the tiniest little hints, my brain can extrapolate things and get you know, make pretty good guesses as to what's coming so just please stop okay but enough about that um yeah i, I don't know where this premiere is going to start uh is it going to pick up right where season seven left off uh they're going to have the pillars present right away discussing something uh, i mean it the movie was supposed to take place between between uh, season seven and eight from what i heard is this going to be something from the movie right away or is that going to be later in the season i really don't know where we're starting on this so yeah, the only way to find out is to watch it so without further ado season eight premiere starting now this happened while we were gone wow D those are all the places we went when we left to save equestria oh oh <gasps> horrid town wait we were oh sold. the pirates they were pretty awesome uh, once they decided not to throw us overboard. Okay, and movie times immediately! Starlight, did you know we made seashell necklaces for all, <laughs> all the sea ponies? <laughs> I... you... Where were you during all this, Starlight? that unicorn, the one who attacked Canterlot? Yes, Tempest. yes! I invited her to come to Ponyville, but she wanted to spread the word of the Storm King to meet <clears throat> and share what she learned about friendship. Y'all think that's why the map grew? Friendship quest beyond a quest. I really want to see Tempest in this later in the season. I've had quite enough life threatening adventures. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> How many friendship quests do you think we need to go on before we have to expand the throne room? We can't do it all alone. Sure, we can. We just need to knock this wall down. Get some pain. No. Wow. I mean, the world is filled with so many different creatures who know nothing about friendship. We need help if we're gonna teach them all about friendship. Oh! Perhaps. Oh! They can go to learn about friendship. Here, they can all go here because we're gonna open a school. What? Oh! Wow! Okay, major expansion co going on here for the, this this world building. Holy! Mm. I did not see this coming. I, I really hope they're setting this up for Tempest to come back later on. I, I, I want to see her, but uh, uh, Hippogriff? So the Hippogriff's going to show up for the school? The pirates? I, Capper? I... Are the pillars? Are the pillars going to be involved in, in this school? Ugh, my mind's going nuts already. <laughs> I think a school of friendship is a wonderful idea, Twilight. I'll help in any way I can. Aww. I just have a few questions. School what time days. does school start each day? It really depends what? the ideal length for class. Do you regularly? <laughs> oh, well, that's... What about class projects? That's your fair sign seating, open seating, or is that... 
too unstructured. Oh, Twilight. Twilight. You're a star pupil. If anyone knows how to run a school, it's you. Aww. There's a big difference between attending a school and running one. It's not like there's True. a rule book to follow. Actually, Make there one. is. Oh. The EEA guidebook is very specific about the how EEA? to run a school. The EEA? E Equestrian I've academic? I've heard of that. Or something? Should I have heard of that? Of course not. You've never run a school before. The Equestria Education Association is a board of there we go. ponies that oversee every school in Equestria. Even your school? But you're you! <laughs> not even a princess can do whatever she likes when it comes to shaping young pony minds. The oh. EEA ensures that whether it's unicorn studying magic, pegasi learning weather, or earth ponies researching agriculture, all schools are held to the same high standard. They'll need to approve oh. your plan before wow. you move forward. Major oh, development in like equestrian like have a presentation uh, yeah. government structure here. We've been through. How hard can that be? <laughs> you had to ask. You just had <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna go with really hard. <laughs> Hello. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? Twilight Sparkle. I am Chancellor Naysay. Equestria owes you a great debt. But I don't like him. Or no, we expect you to do things by the book. Well, she's good at doing that. That's a big book. I think you'll find my curriculum meets all your requirements, Chancellor. Hmm. And can we denied. trust you to follow through with this plan? Hmm. You leave the school unattended to gallop off on your adventures. Oh. My journey beyond Equestria showed me first hoof that the threats out there are greater than we imagined. Oh. 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 I think she means by that. If we want to keep our hmm. land safe and create a friendlier tomorrow, we need to teach the magic of friendship far and wide. A school for ponies to learn how to protect themselves. Uh, more like respecting differences and communicating. <laughs> the EEA concurs. Every pony should be prepared to defend our way of life. So, if your okay. work is in order, provisional EEA approval is granted. Provisional. We will need to observe your school okay. up and running before it can be fully accredited. Then please, join us for Friends and Family Day. It'll be the perfect time to see our progress. <laughs> Friends and Family Day. Okay, well this is good. Wow. First she got her own castle, now she got her own school. Oh! Okay, this is that one image I saw in the Season 8 promotional stuff like months and months ago. Dressing the part would help me feel the part. Not Teacher dress. Rarity. Then, wow. Uh, <laughs> teaching? They're gonna think I'm an egghead. <laughs> <laughs> well, the students are gonna love the like cannon, oh. cannon class. It's gonna be the best. Um, hello there. I'm your teacher. Twilight's really got her work cut out for her. But if you don't enjoy it, that's okay too. <sighs> I don't know about Angel. all this. It's going to be fine. Everything about this school just feels hmm. right. Starts robust there. See, if Twilight isn't stressed, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> and you're sure you want eh, she's us stressed. To she be just had to eat well. In classrooms? The EEA is very clear on how schools should be run. We have a huge responsibility. How are they going to do this amongst this by the book. their jobs, that their regular no lives? Aww, Aww. Not even a <laughs> I know it's not some big Somebody make that. I want that. <laughs> this could be the most important thing we've ever done. I can't run a school of friendship without my best friends. Oh, I got bust the bubble pillars there. You? Of course you can, darling. Call me Professor Egghead. I'm in. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> I forgot to mention, it's not just ponies. Oh! Don't! Was, was that a hippogriff? That was unexpected. Was that? I miss changelings, dragons. Oh, students certainly travel oh, far and wide to attend school. Princess Celestia helped me reach out to all the kingdoms. After all, friendship is something that needs to be shared with every creature. Aww. Okay, Welcome to the School of Friendship. 
I'm your head mayor, Twilight Not sure I'm seeing you progress yet, but... Please follow Guidance Counselor Starlight to sign in and get your class assignments. Guidance Counselor <laughs> Starlight? <laughs> that works. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's trouble. Are you a student here, too? No, I just figured I'd randomly stand here and see how many ponies would walk into me. Gallus! Oh, boy. Oh, that guy! What are you doing here? Flew all the way from Griffinstone to introduce Gallus. Hmm. Rainbow Dash, right? Gilda told me about you. You're a teacher? Ah, thought you'd be cooler. Oh, no, he didn't! Oh, yes! Rather pretty, yes, yes. She come to pony school. <laughs> Make it better. Yak yak, wait to meet ponies and tell all about yak yak. Just no, no smashing, please. <sighs> oh no! Nice save. Why don't I show you around before you destroy the place? The dragons are better Ember. than this. Yes, yes. Why, Why does that dragon here? look like Scootaloo? Because, <laughs> as dragon lord, I'm ordering you to be here. Um, Spike. that's not happening. Mm, okay. Great to see you, Ember. Oh. Uh, which one is Smolder? Oh, Zealous. two of what them. What did we talk about? Uh, Changeling, okay. I told you, stay in your own form. It's the polite thing to do. Uh, sorry, uh, hmm. she's shy. Oh. <gasps> yes! 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 No way! I didn't know ponies could turn into... Um, what are you? A changeling. <laughs> ponies can turn into changelings? Other way around. No, but changelings can turn into ponies. <laughs> that is an adorable oh, little cutie mark. Confusing. <laughs> it's... Oh! I am General Seaspray of Her Majesty Queen Novo's Navy. Seaspray. I would okay. like to introduce the Queen's niece, Silverstream. Oh, this place so is amazing! <laughs> I've spent most of my life in a coral reef underwater. I was a sea pony, but now I'm a hippogriff. Long story. Anyway, wow! Is that a yeah? Oh, she is definitely <laughs> Sky Star's cousin. <laughs> your students are making so a whole bunch of ponies and one student each from the allied kingdoms this is gonna be interesting that's supposed to change Oh, she's adorable. Students go learn new ideas to explore can contain the excitement I feel. Can't mess up, can't afford a mistake now. Think success, keep it firmly in sight. Make sure to do things by the book. Make sure to do it all right. Hmm. <laughs> No strippers, no orange. Hey, you're, you're related to oranges. Mm. Apple bucking is a class? Okay. Those rules are going to become a bit of a problem. We are shaping young minds to ignite. Do it like it says in the book. Now make sure you're doing it right. It's not really? The students look bored. Now what have I done? Can't teach me and all this. Not sure what to do. I'm quite certain I'm lost. None of us has a clue. I'm definitely seeing the message here. Oh, 
They were having fun and learning. Now they're following very strict rules and guidelines and it's boring and they're all miserable. Would have expected Dash to be the one sleeping on Pinky. <laughs> is this what boring is? Am I boring? Yep. Ugh, yep. Please, these ponies are the heroes of Equestria. Listen, these ponies saved all of us from the Storm King. How? True. By boring him into surrender? Oh! Our teachers oh. are a little different than I expected. Ugh, pony school waste of time. Yes. I need to know who all these voices are. Bring Yak Hair is back! <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything in Yak Yakistan that isn't the best? Yes! Wait, no! Yak's best. <laughs> no claws, no wings, no fire. What is it exactly you're proud of? Oh, they smash a lot. Wait. No need to harsh Yona's love for her heritage, okay? Aww. Are we Tom. not being sweet and friendly enough for you, pony? That was sarcasm, Ooh. right? Because you weren't being sweet or nice? <laughs> Maybe dragons and griffins are just too tough for friendship. Yes, tough, just not. Oh nasty. boy. You Civil War! Nasty klutz. <laughs> Thank you, Dash. What is going on here? Actually, last of the friendly discussion about the magic of friendship amongst friends. Mm. Every pony, I mean, every one, go to your next class. I just can't believe it. Fights breaking out when they're supposed to be learning friendship? Things yep. definitely aren't going as by the book as Twilight planned. That's because mm. we're terrible teachers. Face it, this school isn't gonna work. You're not terrible teachers. The teaching methods are not correct. I don't know like that, do I? <laughs> okay. I get it. Things are getting off to a rougher start than expected. But that's okay. Who are you and what have you done with Twilight Sport? <laughs> Every school in Equestria follows these rules. As long as we do too, we'll be fine. Maybe but you're not every school in Equestria. Try something new? The EEA will be here this afternoon for Friends and Family Day. They need to see a school that follows their guidelines. Even if those guidelines aren't working? Well then, we have to try harder and make sure they do. Another morning, another chance to inspire our students. Hmm. Well, the hey, EA is going to need an attitude adjustment to make this all work. This way. Where are you going? You're They're not skipping. Skipping, are you? That's exactly what we're doing. Naturally. But it's a family day! It's after class. Relax. This is just a quick mental health break. <laughs> oh, that sounds legit. We're in. <laughs> I guess we'll tag along too. But make sure you don't get into trouble. Right. <laughs> this way, Angel. Professor Fluttershy! The jig is up! We're busted! Oh my! Oh, what are you all doing? That, is that? that is clever. Uh, um, a generosity field trip, darling. <laughs> I'm taking the students to the lake to look at our divine reflections. No, oh, an entirely terrible fun. impression. Have fun. Ooh. <laughs> I take back everything I said about you. That was cool. Angel as a teacher's assistant. That's actually an interesting role for him. You're sure sticking to the book is going to work? My no, friends can no. handle anything. They'll have these problems turned around before we know it. Problem? Um, surprise inspection early. Mm-hmm. I knew that was coming. Yes. And you seem unprepared. If there are problems... Problems? Of course not. We can't wait to show you around. Right. And that's why Griffins breathe fire when we get mad. They do not! Gri um... Do they? I don't think so. Really? Griffins just full of hot air! <laughs> <laughs> Good at jokes. How about that? What are dragons good at? They're actually getting along. Competition. Who's up for a race? Well, four of them can hey, fly, Dash. so. Why aren't you in class teaching? Because my students are gone. Uh, uh -oh. Gone somewhere else, doing a loyalty lesson. 
Um, and I was just going to grab a... This pencil! Because they need it. Or wherever they are. Which I know, because... I'm the teacher. Right. I see. Well, <laughs> Chancellor, we have other classes. We can just... Let's follow the professor. I'm quite curious about this lesson in loyalty. Oh, boy. <laughs> We want to instill a sense of loyalty towards others. We encourage acts of generosity and kindness. I see where this is going, I think. They're gonna learn all the lessons out on their own, and hopefully that will translate into the EEA approving of this method of teaching. Can you be weirder than a flying yak? Um, it's a changeling, so probably. What is what 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 was that? Honestly, we better see what that was. Princess, are we going in circles? Uh, look at mm -hmm. the time. We'd better head to the lake for friends and family day. I'm sure all the students and faculty will be there. All the students are there for sure. <laughs> what is that? Um What the A giant bug of some kind? The school is under attack. Oh no. Oops. This is not going well. Uh, maybe skipping class wasn't the best idea. How mm. dare you! This act of aggression against ponies. I'm so sorry, Chancellor. We clearly had some students get a little carried away. Those are students? But you said you were opening this school to protect. Oh the no! To defend ponies from. Dangerous creatures who don't have our best interests at heart. My school teaches mm. for all of us to work together through friendship. And how do you know these creatures won't take what they have learned here and use it against us? Friendship isn't just for ponies. It how it could be. Unicorn think yaks don't need friendship? Maybe yaks don't need pony school! Well. Then perhaps you should return to your kind. Your kind? Smolder? The EEA what? needs to go to the school. <laughs> they have not learned the magic of friendship. No, no, we'll want to hear of this. Yeah, she probably will. Well, this place seemed lame anyways. It's fine. We know not every pony sees us the way you do. We're used to it. Hmm. <sighs> Princess Celestia helped me reach out to all the kingdoms. When she hears you closed the school because... Because you failed to meet the EEA's standards? What? Irresponsible teachers, students skipping class, endangering ponies. Your school is a disaster. Perhaps if you had higher standards for who was admitted, this could have been avoided. Regardless. <sighs> what? Are what? Oh, come on! By order of the EEA, I am shutting this school down. I think I have a new most hated pony in Equestria here. And he, he's 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 right up there with Finn Gallop at this point. Mm. Ah, I need oh, I need to go back and check all those voices later. I won't right now. Well, obviously this is going to turn around somehow, but uh, I'm not really sure how yet. Um, yeah, so something needs to happen to give this jerk a attitude adjustment. He, he, he needs to go through a friendship lesson himself to get to understand that the others aren't so bad or whatever. I, mm -hmm. 
Interesting thing, though, with, with the whole government system here, like, the for education, like, Celestia is apparently not the ultimate authority on everything. There's this board that oversees everything, so... Does Celestia actually have the ability to pull rank on that, or not? I, I don't know. I would hope she would have some sort of influence, though. Give them the evil glare, if nothing else. <laughs> Anyway, I, I, I don't really have any other comments on this right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and get the second one, uh, second episode started here. And I'm sure I'll be coming back with all my thoughts afterwards. Where did my... There. Okay. Part two, starting now. This happened while we were gone? Friendship quest beyond Equestria? We are going to open a school. Expect you to do things by the book. We have a huge responsibility, and I need you all to do this by the book. Time for a new Please book with different rules. Heroes of Equestria. This is just a quick mental health break. The school is under attack. Those are students. I am shutting this school. I thought at first that might have been a bugbear, but it's just a bug. <laughs> I, I do very much like all these these uh, new character these six new student characters though. This is finally bringing all the races into Equestria. To, that's there's going to be a lot of cool interactions from that. I think a lot of interesting cultural sharing. So it seems he's going to go to the school. Would, are, would they teach anything at the school? <laughs> they almost could at this point. Still not sure how the main six are gonna balance this and their other lives, though. Twilight, you feeling okay? That's a lot of pillows. Uh... <laughs> She's actually got a record of Sammy's. Okay. Wow. Look on the bright side. Sure, the EEA closed your friendship school, but now you've got time to do other stuff. It's like being on vacation. Whoa! A failure vacation. I'm supposed to be the princess of friendship, and all I did was make enemies with Equestria's allies, upset my friends, and get my school. Close. Unaccredited. Mm. There is no bright side. <laughs> okay then, I'm gonna need that. This is almost oh, a rare. We, we need good. some ice cream in here. <laughs> Come on, Twilight. You can't sit around in the boring dark all day. Exactly. What you need is a double dose of Granny Smith's apple mash. Hmm. Not sure if that's good or not. I'm sad. A hug from the yeah, angel bunny always makes me feel better. Um, really? Really? Oh, that's my. Aww. Huh. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I find that, that was mildly cute. Like How dare he? Ensemble. Why? Thanks, Rarity. Why? Dress. <laughs> she looks like, like a court jester. A school. <sighs> you didn't tell me this was a pity party. I want a bread ice cream. I appreciate you. Z you feel better. But Said we need an ice cream. Fixed with dresses and cupcakes. What? I just need some time to be alone and think. <sighs> Oh, I didn't. I missed that before. It's literally right next to her I castle. How long you take to get tired of pillow fort pouting? <laughs> Every pillow pony's fort. already tried to cheer me up. It won't work. <laughs> I'm not gonna cheer you up. I'm gonna tell you what you did wrong. What? Oh! <laughs> you gave up too easily. Hey, you made me a guidance counselor. That means tough love. Naysay was right. I failed. The school was a disaster. Starlight's right. So was I when you met me. But you showed me that when you know in your heart something is right, you stand up for it. You did that for me. Why not for this? Come on, Twilight. It's worth fighting for. A, they're in charge of all the schools in Equestria. And you're in charge of all the friendship in Equestria. Why should you let some pony else stop you from doing your job? But the EEA rulebook doesn't matter. <laughs> you can write your own rules. Wow. You are doing something new, something important. You're right. Just do it anyway. Who Why cares if it's accredited? More important than how we're doing this. 
And we are doing You don't even need the school building. Now that's the twilight I know. How can I help? You already have. Aww. Guess what? The school of friendship is back in business. What? But why? Yeah. Oh no. Bad idea. <laughs> Do we still get to guess? <laughs> Boring, horrible, awful thing ever. Uh, pretty sure she's gonna take offense to that. No, Rainbow Dash is right. I owe you all an apology. I was time so to do it your way. Things the EEA way. I didn't listen to any of you. I'm sorry. I promise this time we'll run the school like friends should, together. So we'd be allowed to teach however we want to. No yes. more scary pop quizzes. Confetti cannons for every creature. Oh, there needs to be a little bit of a guy. What? They each have their own personalized can. <laughs> I so Whatever approve of this. Need to teach the elements of harmony. I and they're all, I I want one of those. <laughs> well, in that case, we're behind you 100%, Twilight. <clears throat> Just two small problems. The school is still unaccredited. <laughs> and we don't have any students. Yeah. I'll take care Easily of the fixable. Part. If you five can round up our class. Totally. Uh, how? Rounding up the pony students ain't gonna be an issue, but the creatures from the other kingdom seem pretty upset with us. Plus, they live a long way away. I'm certain we can win them over without charm and style. Eh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Cupcake Grandpa Prince Rutherford! Why, pink pony here? Yeah, Dash is gonna, gonna go to Griffin Stone. Because Who's gonna go to. You don't have to be mad anymore. Yeah. We're reopening Twilight Sparkle's school of friendship, and it's gonna be super, super, super better than before. We're ever so sorry about the misunderstanding. Oh, she's going All creatures okay. are, of course, welcome. We would be really happy if you Aww. sent your student back hey, to parents. class. It won't be the same without him. We're open and ready Applejack to start teaching to right hypocrites. now. So, what are you waiting for? Get your student and let's go. Not no. happening. Aww. <laughs> do you need me to do the whole apology and explanation thing again? Okay. <laughs> Listen, Missy. It's not happening because our student is gone. What? Okay. It's our pony's fault. You're pretty quick to blame them. They all ran away to be together yeah. somewhere, I'm guessing. Can, uh, can we just focus on finding our Because they, they all became really good friends. Nice try! You grubs are probably hiding the whole lot of them! Please, everybody. Those six students are going to bring can all these cultures together. The students left us notes before they disappeared. When the school closed, they didn't want to say goodbye to each other. They claimed they ran away to stay together. Yep. I can't believe it. They did learn friendship. See? <laughs> that Sorry. grin. The students couldn't have done this by themselves. Some creature is hiding them. If the niece of our queen is not found soon, I promise there will be retribution. Uh, really? Yeah, my dragons will burn every kingdom until we find which of you is hiding Smolder. Tala tala the Riffin army. Yes, fight griffins and dragons. The changeling Empire Great, now we got an interna international, international incident. incident. If any creature blames the changelings for this... What are you up to, shape shifter? But we're friends. <sighs> Find the students quickly, Twilight. Yes. Or I fear our world will be at war. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're supposed to be working now. together against Smooth common enemy, Sonus, not fighting each other. Dream, Yona and Gallus disappear together. <sighs> That's all we know. They're probably just off hiding somewhere. Unless they use some kind of spell to disappear. Ooh, or went undercover. Maybe they were attacked by a ferocious shrimp. No pony ever expects that. A shrimp? What? Nope. That's why no pony expects it. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He knows where they are. <laughs> Hi, Sambar. Are you having a party? No, I'm just um really hungry. Y yeah, right. More like feeding some uh, think like runaways. Students. If someone told us we would never see each other again, what would we do? Go someplace we could all hang out and eat lots and lots of cupcakes. 
Pinky knows what's up. What? Sambar was friends with all of the missing students. Andy just got plenty of cupcakes. Huh. He was at the farm this morning picking up a wagon load of apples. And I saw him in a shop buying pillows and blankets. Uh-huh. <gasps> he must be taking all that stuff to the other students. We gotta follow it. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh! The castle of the two sisters! I did not expect that! What? Could somebody please help her with her hair? What's it called again, Osalis? The castle of the two sisters. I remembered it from class. Princess Twilight's history of pre-equestrian friendships. Ha! Who knew? Oh, I want to know more about that. For something. Yona not really like school, but Yona like new friends. Aww. Smolder like breathing. Sambar <laughs> <laughs> is back. That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Actually. Oh, how nice! The castle is going to be so much more comfy and fun. Pillow fight! Don't wreck the pillows. You need to use them. <laughs> uh, bugbear! <laughs> the return of the bugbear! I just found stairs. Is that bugbear changeling back and at Slice of Light? We care because. Change without the if pearl. Only my family back home could see it. Aww. I wish the other changings could meet you all. You're not nearly as strange as the story say. Gee, thanks. But yeah, <laughs> hanging out with other creatures is actually uh, not bad. What the? What is that? Uh, most other creatures. What is that thing? Is that? <sighs> Am I the only one who is that that creature from Gen One? I can't remember the name. of comfort and conflict class. It's a puckwudgy. Maybe I can make okay, no, it. Okay, now it's pork puckwudgy. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, that doesn't look pleasant. Nice save. Okay. Well, this is an interesting problem. Yeah, that didn't help very much. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's not pillows, apples, or cupcakes. <laughs> Would a class have been about how to make friends with them? Uh, guys, they're getting really close. Yona not scared! Yona have friends! Okay, so what are you gonna do? Hey, Dash. <laughs> Is that Professor Egghead? <laughs> Hey, come on! Nice! Headbutt! <laughs> really? Really? Oh, don't hurt them. Just ask them to leave nicely. <laughs> Pinky, what? Oh boy. Were actually cool. Like a gazillion I've times. Been trying to tell you. Oh, did you see that? Rainbow Dash was like, and then the birds came in. 
yeah, we all just lived it. But you're right. Please get amazing. Gabby to meet uh, Silverstream here. <laughs> Is every creature all right? Uh, yeah. <sighs> you're lucky we got here in time. You know, this probably isn't the safest place for a camp out. Does mm. that mean you're going to send us back to our homes? Nope. Not exactly. We have another option in mind. We're listening. <laughs> it's pretty clear you've already started learning friendship without your teachers. But we'd like to show you even more. If you'd come back to school... Mm. Not much of a choice. <laughs> it's honest, different this time. We felt exactly the same way when Twilight told us she was reopening the school. But this time, we guarantee it shall be different. Oh, yeah! When class run my way, it'll be 220% cooler. And without the wow! much friendly. That's a big in wow. increase. <laughs> won't go to war if you come back with us. Bonus. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Twilight, I was so relieved to get your letter. As was Queen Nova. Oh, we're just glad you're all right, Silverstream. Don't expect a welcome party from me, Sonny. It's time you got Oh, home. come on. I'm not leaving. What? <laughs> Sorry, Thorax. Yet not understand this pony joke. No, we're nope. going back to school. How? You can't even get inside. Yeah, about that. Yeah, that school is back in That lock was not gonna keep Twilight out. <laughs> There's no way. Oh boy. Who did remove my seal? I did, Chancellor Naysay. And I respectfully <laughs> ask you to step aside, or classes will start late. Classes won't start at all. The EEA Just has try and stop and them. None shall pass. Really? Lord of the Rings reference, really? <laughs> this is for the greater good. The school was disorganized, the teachers unqualified, and those dangerous and unpredictable students. Celestia, smack this guy. Hell, I'll show you unpredictable. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sure Princess Twilight Sparkle has a good explanation for all of this. I do. It's true that my school of friendship is EEA unaccredited. Look, she said it without doing the art thing. <laughs> then it is not a school. It's not so what? an EEA school. It's a friendship school. Ooh. With its own rules. I should know. Yes. I wrote the book. <laughs> That is a much bigger book. Reminded me that every friendship is and that's more what I expected. So the way we teach it has to be just as unique. My school is going to do things differently. Allowing all of these creatures to attend your school. Changing the rules for them. It simply won't work. I seem to Wanna recall bet? something about Earth ponies, unicorns, and pegasi doing something similar. Don't you? Oh. <laughs> I promise you, Chancellor. My school will help protect Equestria. Oh, snap! Yeah. Oh, we've not seen the last of him. I'm sure of that. This school is going to be any different from last time. Mm, just see. J just, just wait and see. This brand new school of friendship is home to everyone. We're learning how to trust. We're here to all have fun. With friendship ties that bind us. Tattered that. Garden, hippogriffs hang in the hall, and the door will be open to all creatures, great and small. And the act or two or three singing perfect harmony. That might have been a changeling, but it kind of looks like me. The school of friendship is for all of us. It's a big apple tree. <laughs> I 
<laughs> um, uh, it's a little toasty. <laughs> Book ball! Nice reference. Uh, nice callback. So I think that was. Or wait, wait, wait. Was it Book ball or was it. I'm guessing there's Harry Potter references I'm missing in here. <laughs> so elements of harmony on that flag, but the green gem, that's interesting. What the finish? Nice oh, picture. Fine. If you promise to stop singing. <laughs> uh, if dragons stay, yes, stay. I love you know it, Huber. Make the I love it. Proud, mm. You belong here. Now, can you show me those stair things you mentioned? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What? You belong at home. You think I care if you've made friends? Please, Grandpa Gruff. Oh, it's Grandpa. Oh. What? Down right! Stop doing that! <laughs> Guess I make a pretty good guidance counselor. Wow. Yes! Writing a rule book was the most fun ever. I can't wait to start working on the new lesson plans. <clears throat> With some help hmm. from my friends. Nice. Well, school is in session. Ah, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go through. I, I did see Vincent Tong in there somewhere. I'll go through those voices later. Wow, 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 and wow. Not exactly a, um, you know, epically earth-shattering premiere, but seriously setting the stage for things to come this season. I am I'm, I'm sure it's, I mean, th th this opens up the door for so many possibilities now. I'm pretty sure that a few, several things on my wish list are going to true, it could come true based on, on this uh, uh, progression here. So, yeah, ended up being uh, direct, uh, Direct tie into the movie, so we're moving forward from there. Haven't seen the pillars yet, which I honestly wasn't expecting to, but I'm definitely expecting them to reappear later. So, I'm not sure about the ch the chancellor though. He, we'll see more of him. I don't think he's gonna be like the the big villain this season though. It's just a th story thread to tie up at some point probably, but. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling uh, random thoughts here. I'm going to rewatch these and come back to you in uh, shortly with my thoughts on this. So stay tuned. Well, the season premiere is behind us. And what an interesting premiere it was. Um, was not super, you know, action oriented. No major earth shattering type events. But it was jam packed with... Uh, just a whole lot of stuff a ton of new characters you know a whole new you know uh, dynamic to the storylines and stuff new you know path forward for uh, for the storyline this season just a whole lot of stuff going on here and uh, I, I've got a lot of notes on this I'm gonna try and get through this hope hopefully not too ridiculous amount of time but uh, just so, so much to cover here but um, just to get things rolling right away First check mark already. <laughs> Movie continuity. Uh, we got the cutie map expanded to show the locations from the the movie adventures. Uh, you got you know uh, Tempest being mentioned by uh, by Starlight and Twilight. Um, still no explanation for where Starlight was. I really wish they'd touched on that, but I guess we're gonna just you know, pin that up there with uh, uh, where the heck was Luna during the whole Changeling invasion. <laughs> but. Uh, 
And then, yeah, the, the Storm King attack was uh, mentioned later on by Sandbar. Of course, Hippogriffs are present now because they, they're, you know, not hiding from the Storm King anymore. So that's awesome. Um, the biggest thing about this, though, was the that we've got the new Canterlot Castle throne room from the movie now in the TV show. I am kicking myself like you would not believe for missing that in the... Uh, in, in, in the reaction. My, my mind was just too wrapped up with the storyline that was going on to really notice the setting. And from what I've heard, it looks like a lot of other reactors missed that as well, which is un unfortunate. But um, I, I feel bad for missing it because I made such a big deal about it in my commentary of the, the, the movie and stuff. I'm like, yeah, okay, clearly something had to have happened there because in the old throne room, you had basically just the one main throne chair and then the little pedestal off to the side where Luna always sat when she was present. Um, didn't really look like an equal, you know, arrangement there. Now, after the events of a royal problem, I think that was probably the catalyst for the, for this change. I, I, I get the feeling that there was still a, a lot bigger rift between Celestia and Luna than we probably realized, probably were even shown in, uh, in that episode. But uh, that now that they've worked things out and they you know have a much better understanding and respect for the you know what each other does in their daily jobs and stuff um you know it, it like i said before it makes sense that celestia now sees luna as definitely more of a of an equal now so you know that now they've got their uh, they both have their own throne there in that room their own space for each other so uh, i'm so glad that they kept that i'm so glad they didn't retcon that from from the show that's that's awesome so but anyway, uh, enough about all that. Friendship school. That is... Uh, that I never dreamt of anything like this, but this is a really, really interesting idea. I mean, the, it makes sense. The main six have you know, largely kind of reached the ends of their, their story arcs for the duration of, of the show, as a lot of people have been complaining about. How do you keep the show interesting when you're starting to run out of story ideas for for these characters you know and I've, I've said before i think you know a new new writing cast can probably do a lot of cool things uh with the storyline to you know inject new stuff and make things interesting again this is de definitely not what i had expected them to do but it really is a is a clever idea you know we we're starting to witness kind of a changing of the guard here they're tra training the next generation to you know go out on friendship uh, missions and you know uh, spread the magic of friendship to the entire world and, you know they're only six ponies they can only do so much they need more um, you know more individuals involved with this now I want to say more people it's like how do you call them people they're <laughs> all different manner of creatures um, uh, interesting thing in here now it's like they they can't say it's every pony anymore because that's not inclusive so yeah like oh this is gonna get uncomfortable with the ponified language now but Anyway, not getting into all that. Um, yeah, the, um, we, along with this, we got some interesting insight finally into the uh, kind of the you know authority and government structures of, of Equestria. It's been theorized about. Never really got anything in canon, but here we have the uh, introduction of the Equestrian Education Association, the EEA, which uh, apparently is the ultimate authority on education throughout the country, as uh, as opposed to Celestia. Um, uh, you know, suggests that there is a system of checks and balances in place, government-wise. Um, you know, it, it does make a lot of sense for, for two reasons. Um, first of all, there's not really enough of Celestia to go around to actually control everything. We've seen that in a royal problem in other, other cases, you know. She's an extremely busy individual. She has to delegate something somewhere, so having somebody else run the education system makes a lot of sense from that aspect. But also... Historically, Celestia and Luna were never, you know, they never wanted to be like the supreme overlords of Equestria, you know, ruling with an iron hoof or anything like that. If you go back to the Journal of the Two Sisters, you know, they, they very much did not want to, you know, step on the hooves of any of the other uh, pony tribes that were, you know, at odds with each other. They just wanted to be able to bring everybody together in peace and harmony, and they, they kind of ruled at a, at, at a bit of a distance, at least initially, just you know, going around and, and offering you know guidance and support and uh, and protection and stuff wherever needed, to and then trying to encourage all the the tribes to, to come together and work together well, which over the course of time they actually did accomplish that, um, you know to to some degree, um, you know we we still see a little you know obviously there's you know hints at 
racism aspect in this episode. I'll get to that in a little bit. And even before this, there's been little hints here and there where, you know, some ponies, it's been pretty obvious that they have kind of a bit of a superiority attitude. Like, not an entire, you know, tribe, but just like, you know, some unicorns look down very much on Earth ponies as being like, uh, you know, common folk and, you know, things like that. There, There's... There, there's some class segregation going on there. Maybe not so much racial segregation, but uh, there, there is hints of that stuff. And I mean, I think you're always going to have that to, to some degree. But um, anyway, um, again, more, more on that stuff later. Uh, so yeah, so Celestia and Luna didn't really want to just, you know, control everything that way. So it makes sense that they, you know, let the other pony tribes you know, govern themselves to a certain degree in certain things. That, that does make sense. So, uh, but we also saw an interesting thing uh, with the focus of the education in the land of Equestria. There, there's this, you know, strong focus on uh, Pegasi learning earth control, unicorns learning magic, earth ponies uh, doing agricultural research. Now, you know, obviously not every member of each of those tribes strictly adheres to those areas of study, but their inherent na magical abilities of those tribes obviously lend themselves greatly to those areas of study and, and abilities. So, um, you know, maybe there's opportunities for some crossover be, between it, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be pretty hard for an Earth Pony to control the weather, you know, or, uh, you know, I, I, I can't imagine too many Pegasi are going to want to, you know, grow, you know, you know, vegetables and stuff down on the ground. It's it just... You know, it's it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, though those are those inherent inherent magical, um, you know, abilities that their biology supports. So that that makes sense. But you know, I, and I think they, there is a, a good amount of balance in the land. We certainly see a lot of uh, various, you know, trades and you know, um, things like that. Where the I mean, the the fashion industry and the entertainment industry and whatever, where there's ponies of all three tribes, obviously involved. So they they really have struck a nice balance amongst everything overall. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just interesting to, to see, um, how, how they have that focus. So now as for the EA itself that, uh, I'm calling it the judging room. <laughs> I don't know what the heck you call like a courtroom in there. These ridiculously high vaulted, you know, benches and stuff. Um, very intimidating. And of course you got this, you know, chancellor sitting up above everybody else looking very stereotypically evil. I swear that guy could only have been more evil if he had like a like a, a white cat that that he was you know stroking on his on his bench there or something, but uh, you know he mentioned right away. I mean, he set the tone right away by mentioning the fact that you know Twilight, you know Equestria owes you a, a great debt for you know saving the world times. But he's just saying that was just you know his voice dripping with scorn when he's saying that. It's like, okay, well, you've got a real high opinion of Twilight. So I was like, well, I guess we should thank you for saving the world, but I don't agree with your methodology or your worldview, I think is what he's getting that at there. Um, and, and when Twilight presented their, you know, her, her curriculum, it's like he immediately misinterpreted and, and twisted around, you know, the goal that she was trying to achieve. Um, you know, Twilight wanted to prevent... Issue, future issues like the Storm King attack from occurring by, you know, spreading the magic friendship beyond the borders of Equestria, trying to get other, you know, races and nations to come together in harmony and, you know, stave off any uh, ridiculous attacks over silly reasons. And uh, Nase instead was, saw it as more of like, uh, you know, a defense thing, like wanting to teach ponies how to defend their way of life. Now, both of those things are very important important because you know there there's always going to be conflicts and you have to be willing to defend your way of life we saw that last season with the changelings and that uh i forget what it was now it was some sort of mythological creature but the the creature that that, that attacked them you know it's like they didn't they didn't want to be, you know be confrontational and like an army anymore so you know but they thankfully woke up and realized that it's like, you know, hey, we, you know, we can be peaceful, but we still have to be, you know, willing to defend ourselves or otherwise we're just going to get squashed out. So, you know, both of those things are, are important, but he still really twisted this to be more of like a, a, a defense or military, militarized type angle, almost like a psychological thing rather than, you know, being a positive thing. So, I don't know, he just had some strange ideas about that. Um... 
the, the, the school itself, though, it does make a lot of sense. Um, you know, all, all these other nations are sort of allies with the Crest, I, Equestria, but they're, that, that relationship, those relationships are a bit fragile right at the moment, I, I, I would say. Um, you know, they're, they're acquaintances, young friends, but they really haven't really solidified that stuff yet. Um, and furthermore, they are not all friends with each other. I, you know, I, that never actually occurred to me when I've talked in the past about, you know, the Equestrian allies all coming together. It's like for allies to work well together, they have to all like each other, not just one in the middle. <laughs> so, uh, that, that, that really makes a, long, uh, a lot of sense. And if they do all come together and grow relationships now, you know, that's going to make them a, a really good, strong, unified force in whatever crazy epic conflict might be lying ahead. Um... And as I said, you know, both, both the sharing of, of friendship and building of defenses are, are important things, but, you know, it's always best to be friends first to avoid conflict in, in the first place. So, you know, that, that's kind of the, an aspect of this that they were, that well, really they've been lacking on both fronts because those royal guards are pretty much useless most of the time, <laughs> as we've seen. So, um, yeah, but as is clear, clearly there is a threat me and the changelings are proof of that, the Storm King is proof of that, Chrysalis... I mean, you know, they're finally recognizing it's like, hey, you know, one small group of, you know, six ponies or seven ponies cannot do it all. There is a lot of races out there. There's a lot of cultures out there. There's a lot of conflicts out there. You know, we need to take what we've learned and spread it not just throughout Equestria, but to the rest of the world, too, to hopefully help prevent conflicts other places as well. Because nobody wins when there's conflicts. I mean, let's be honest. So... And as far as Twilight running it, um, you know, she said she had no experience running a school. It's not necessarily true, maybe not in a formal setting, but, you know, aside from all the friendship lessons she's taught, she's also tutored the, the Kitty Mark Crusaders, like back in, in Twilight time, and she tutored Rainbow Dash in Testing Testing 1, 2, 3, so she's certainly not completely lacking in teaching experience. Um, the main six is teachers, though, is overall, like that was never something I would have expected. I mean... Professor Pinkie Pie. That that just mm. not that I got anything against her whatsoever. Just I, those words never got put together in my mind before. And I, um, that, there was that one scene there actually when she's writing some like diagram, like sciency diagram stuff on the board, like oh you know proper vector of of depressing the the bulb on a party horn or whatever. I'm like. I think Pinky is a lot smarter than we've given her credit for. I mean, she effe was effectively sciencing fun on that chalkboard. That was impressive. <laughs> so, really, they you know each in their own right, they they are very competent instructors. So, uh, you know, despite Nase's claims otherwise, so it is an interesting fit. But the the immediate the question that comes to mind: How are they going to balance this with their other responsibilities? You know, Applejack's got Sweet App Lakers to run. Dash has the Wonderbolts to, to join in. Uh, Fluttershy has her Sweet Feather Sanctuary and other animal-related activities. Rarity has three boutiques to manage and, you know, product lines to develop and whatever. Uh, you know, Pinkie Pie has Sugar Cube Corner and her party planning business. Uh, you know, there, there, there's just a whole lot going on there. Um, and then the, the friendship missions on top of all that, so... You know, how are they going to balance all of this stuff out? I, I do like the fact that they're taking this friendship lesson stuff very seriously, though. I mean, they're recognizing that this is for the betterment of Equestria's future and the future of the world, too. So I, I like that they're taking it seriously. But I, I'm, just, I'm just curious to see how this going to all balance out. Now, there, there are a lot of ways to do it. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be an everyday thing. I mean, it can be a seasonal thing. Maybe they can take turns. You know, one week it's just, you know, this... A member of the main six teaching for a week and then the other one comes back obviously they're all teaching at the same time here you know they're trying to get the school off the ground and stuff but 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 if this does start taking a lot of their time i'm curious to see how they're going to be portrayed as balancing their other you know other activities out in in their absence um the, the one thing that did pop into mind for applejack it's like if she's busy teaching at the school all the time and you know big mac and you know granny smith and apple bloom are kind of hurting for help out on the farm is that opportunity for uh, Miss Sugarbell to come spend some time on the farm and help out with things? That 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 could be an interesting story thread if they if they go there. So I have no idea if that's going to happen. I'm just saying that's that's a possibility. So maybe fanfic material if nothing else. So 
But yeah, new characters, lots of new characters. Like, pretty much every student of the school is a brand new character, like not the Ponyville regulars. So that that's fun to see. You know, they're bringing in ponies from all over Equestria. That's awesome. There was one scene... <laughs> Um, in the second, in the second episode, like when the, the, uh, foreign students were, you know, coming in for a landing and everybody was scattering, um, I saw Derpy go flying by there on, on a later rewatch. I'm not sure what she was doing in there, but, uh, but yeah, for all intents and purposes, it's a whole new group of, of individuals, but these six characters specifically, one of each of the, the six distinct different races that we now have represented here, I uh, see that the writers... Uh, they tweeted out that they are referring to them as the Young Six. I, I definitely like that term, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, you've got, you know, Gallus the Griffin, Yona the Yak, Smolder the Dragon, Ocelus the Changeling, Silverstream the Hippogriff, and Sandbar the Pony. Um, very interesting and diverse group, to say the least. <laughs> I love all of them. I, I really do. But uh, for right now, for, for the moment, the standouts for me, my number one favorite is Silverstream. She is just nutty and wacky, and I love her. I want to see her and Gabby meet. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, you know, Pinky, uh, Silverstream, and, and Gabby. That, that, the, Equestria is not ready for that. I'll say that right now. That... that <laughs> I don't know what would happen there, but anyway, um, but she's just awesome. Uh, Ocelus, uh, is, is, is she has such a wide range. Like she's she's you know very shy and you know super adorable, but um, you know it's also a bit of a bookworm. I mean, she is the one that was really absorbing a lot of the you know the the technical knowledge that was being taught at the school, and she's very smart too like a very quick thinker and strategizer i mean the way that she thought to you know immediately transform into rarity to you know get the group you know to sneak out past fluttershy and stuff that that was very quick thinking on her part so um that that is that, that's really interesting i i like her um but i, I gotta say too smolder is a is a very close third there because unlike most other dragons Smolder, she, she's definitely got that, you know, that boldness and that confidence and, and the competitive streak, but she's not overly prideful and doesn't have that, you know, utter disdain for ponies and, you know, the other creatures and stuff. I mean, she was apprehensive, but not completely sold out on the, you know, the, the whole dragons are superior thing. You know, I mean, there's a little bit of that, but she warmed up to the others, to the others pretty quickly when she got to know them. So I, I, I just love that, how you've got these... You know these younger individuals who are not completely sold out on you know the traditional ways of thinking amongst their nations and they're willing to you know look past each other's differences and find the common ground and enjoy each other's differences so that's really cool to see um it, it definitely looked like it, it looks like they're going to be groomed as kind of like the the new main six um curious to see just how far that's going to get taken i don't know if the map's going to start calling them on friendship missions or not um it's also interesting that starlight is a guidance counselor in in charge of this here i mean she's uh it's a very good fit for her but you know she adds unicorn magic to the mix there's really no magic in this group other than the changeling magic so if you add her as kind of their leader and mentor that could create for a very interesting group going forward. So, you know, I'm just curious to see where they end up taking all these these uh, character threads here. Um, now, as far as the conflict in here, there's actually like two distinct different types of conflicts, different, you know, like moral issues going on here, which uh, it would have been nice to focus on one or the other. I understand for, you know, what they're trying to accomplish with this premiere. It, you know, they had a lot to do in a very short amount of time, and I think they did a pretty good job of balancing it out overall, but it did make things a little bit confusing. You've got the, the matter of, um, you know, teaching styles, and you've got also an element of uh, racial discrimination uh, going on in here. Um, for, for the teaching stuff, you know, you saw initially they were had very similar classrooms, you know, they had the desks all on a grid, you know, teaching off a chalkboard, blah, blah, blah. You know, pretty quickly, the, the room started kind of transforming. You know, they, you know, shuffled the desks around and set up different, you know, interactive type activities and scenarios and stuff. You know, they, they were just getting in the groove with, you know, teaching the source material in their own unique way. Because, you know, a lot of what, 
you know, like Applejack is pointing out, how do you teach, you know, honesty on a chalkboard? You know, th this is not like math or science or reading or whatever, where it's facts and figures and, and you know, just general data dumps that you have to absorb and memorize and stuff. Friendship lessons, that, I mean, to you have to interact with one another to begin and grow relationships. And you have to experience each other's cultures and differences and stuff like that. You do that by doing things interactively, not learning stuff off a chalkboard. Um, you know, uh, at first I was like, why? Why are they doing all these, you know, crazy things like, you know, teaching? You know, like AJ had that big shop class at the end and whatever. It's like, why are you know? I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like, oh, you know, teaching. It kind of looked like Earth Pony 101. You know, showing like the the circle of life thing with the the apple trees and um, you know woodworking and whatever. I'm like, but that's exactly the point. It's this is Earth Pony culture. You know, Rarity was teaching. You know you know, a world of fashion type stuff, you know, which has cultural aspects from the various tribes and whatever probably wrapped into it. Um, you know, and, there's, uh, and of course they were spending time on, on actual, you know, uh, element lessons as well, like uh, the, the trust fall things going on in Dash's class. Well, that's a matter of loyalty, you know, the, your friends being loyal but not letting you fall onto the ground. So I mean, they, they were really attacking this thing from all the different angles and it was looking really cool until Twilight came in and ruined it with the, the very strict EEA guidelines and how the classrooms are supposed to be set up and how the lessons are supposed to be taught and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it's not to say that there shouldn't be standards. I mean, clearly, it, you can't just have anything goes. But, you know, teachers definitely need some autonomy to be able to teach things properly. I mean, the, the, the style of teaching required needs to be able to be varied based on the subject matter based on the audience and based on the teacher's ability to to teach it. There's a lot of different factors going on there. And you know that this this is indicative of a problem here about a lot in real life. I've heard too many times where teachers just are you know that they got both hands tied behind their back practically not being able to make the changes that they know they need to make in their classroom to teach more effectively to you know get the tools and materials that they need to teach or being able to you know, not just do, you know, strict lectures every day or, you know, do more interactive activities and stuff. Make learning fun. Teachers, you know, good teachers want to make learning fun because if learning isn't fun, you're not going to learn stuff very well. You know, I myself learn a lot better by doing things than I do by just sitting there trying to read words off a page or a screen or whatever. So I, I definitely relate with that. And, you know, I, I would say the, the main six were not terrible teachers at all. They were actually very good teachers. They just couldn't teach the material under the strict EEA guidelines because that method of teaching didn't work for that type of, of subject matter. So, yeah, it's definite uh, definite problem there. Um, as far as the discrimination, I know there's all manner of you know political stuff going on in the world today. I'm not going to dive into all that at all. I will just say that you know, racism is definitely a problem, but at the same time, I do feel that word gets overused, and I think the meaning has been has gotten rather twisted in some of that overuse as as well. As for Naysay himself, I've tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I've I've gone back over some of the things he said and the way he that he said them. I think to a large degree, um, or to a certain degree anyway, I think he does truly have you know Equestria's interest in mind he is I mean he's probably witnessed these attacks like from the Storm King from the changelings and whatever he understands that there's threats out there and he's probably you know a bit on the overzealous side about you know in his desire to protect Equestria so you know there there is that and you know he he did raise some very valid points you know, he said that there's dangerous that there are dangerous creatures that don't have our best interests at heart you know referring to the other races well, they are dangerous creatures. I mean, any one of them can cause a significant amount of damage if they really wanted to. Even ponies can, for that matter. Look at all the magical power they've got at their disposal. Wow. Um, <laughs> and, and at this time, you know, they don't necessarily all have Equestria's best interests at heart. I mean, you know, the Axe, the Griffins, the Dragons, I mean, they've definitely all got some superiority complexes going on. Um, the, the Hippogriffs, we don't really know enough about about them yet to know if they're really you know it kind of like that or not 
Um, but they, you know, the changelings, ironically, <laughs> ironically, the, the, um, they've got the most reason to fear them over any of the others because of the recent attacks by Chrysalis and stuff. But at the same time, they're the ones that, you know, because they've now changed, they're working as hard as they can to avoid any kind of conflicts. And they do want to be friends because they want to prove that they have, have truly changed. So they're, they're probably the ones you have to worry about the least, despite being the, the most recent attackers. So, uh, anyway. But it all, you know, all it said is it doesn't mean we shouldn't still give them a chance. You know, it's, it's wrong to just automatically assume that they're all bad and that they should, you know, we should just completely shut off any and all ties with them that is that is definitely not right um you know you need to approach things with caution but still give them a chance so really when they say cross the line he it, you know automatically assume that anyone who's an outsider is an imminent threat would even give them the benefit of the doubt that's where it branches into a little bit of racism and uh, he Surprisingly, he said he refused to accept that friendship should be enjoyed by any race other than ponies. I'm like, I don't think this guy understands what friendship is. He's definitely not friendly himself, and it, it seems like he views friendship as more of like a, a you know, a weaponized tactic to use to defend their way of life or something than it is something to be shared freely for the benefit of all. So I said he needs to go to this school, but uh, yeah, that was an odd stance for him to take. But then the, the the furthermore, he also crossed the line by sticking his nose into the international affairs of Equestria and its allies. Like it's one thing to you know have a problem with the outsiders being allowed into into the schools, but to stand there and to speak directly to like five world leaders and tell them that they need to go back to their own kind, that they're not welcome here. Like excuse me, but who died and made you king? <laughs> You are not a, a leader of the country. You are a leader of the education system. Big difference. So, yeah, he, he definitely uh, uh, usurped a little bit of authority from Celestia in, in that regard there. I mean, he was pretty much the, the direct cause of all, almost of an international incident there. Uh, I mean, ultimately, he was just on a major power trip. And it's, you know... Granted, he thinks he's the ultimate authority on anything related to education, which he kind of sort of is, but the EEA is not a party of one. There was a group of, you know, as Lusty call them, you know, learned colleagues that, you know, are supposed to work together to oversee and ensure standards of, of education in Equestria. But Nese is the only one who showed up to, to uh, tour the school, and he's, you know, he single handedly passed judgment on the school and passed judgment on the on the you know the allied nations and and whatever you know he didn't consult with any of his colleagues or anything he just he just came in and took control of everything and did his own thing and all we saw the others do in that that judgment room as i like to call it is just agree with him and you know and that was that like it looks like they're just a bunch of yes men in an echo chamber so, you know, there's definitely supposed to be a system of checks and balances in place in there that is not working right now. So, I really think that's something where Celestia needs to step in and take some corrective measures there. But, uh, well, we definitely haven't seen the last of Naysay, so we'll have to see where all that ultimately ends up there. But, I'd also like to point out, though, that Twilight was a big problem in, in this. It wasn't just the EEA's fault. Now, I, I don't fault her for wanting to adhere to, you know, educational standards. Standards are needed. They are very important. But they need to be flexible and grow and adapt to, you know, new types of teaching, new material that's being taught. Um, you know, and wa wanting to be accredited is also understandable to a point. And, you know, also she was following Celestia's advice. You know, Celestia said they oversee all the schools in Equestria. It's like, why should this be any different? At first glance, like, it shouldn't have to be. But, you know, even when faced with the, you know, the feedback from the rest of the main six saying this isn't working, you know, these strict rules, we can't teach this stuff effectively this way, Twilight refused to listen to that and just kept, you know, enforcing the rules. She should have known better because I, look at all the, the, the friendship lessons that she's learned and that Starlight's learned. Not a single one of those was learned from a school like this. Twilight should have known better from the start that this is not the way to teach friendship. 
Um, and it, I mean, even from um, not counting her own experiences, going back again to when she's tutoring uh, Rainbow Dash in testing, testing one, two, three. She saw firsthand there where the traditional classroom teaching methods were not working for Rainbow Dash. This is a matter of the audience being a factor in how material is taught. Rainbow Dash had a unique learning style, and rather than continuing to you know press on tactics that obviously weren't working, Twilight took the time to to figure out how Rainbow Dash learned things and then adapted her teaching methods to roll with that, and it and it was successful. So, you know, again, she should have known better on all of this than to do what she was doing. Uh, you know, a, again, standards are important, rules are important, but she should not have been following them so blindly like that. You know, I, I suppose she was just afraid of what ultimately happened is getting shut down. It's like, if you can't have the school, then what's the point? But at the same point, if you can't teach the material effectively, what's the point? <laughs> so... And, you know, of course, she did finally realize it after Starlight, you know, was brutally honest with her and smacked the rule book down. I, I love that immediate smack down. And just like, you know, but the rules say, bam, right in the water. It's like no hesitation. <laughs> oh, that, that was glorious. It reminded me of when Dash tossed the the uh, um, the Storm King rule book over the, the pirate ship in, in the movie. So uh, that was really cool. But yeah, fortunately, it did turn things around after the fact. Um, also interesting here is the fact that these uh, all these foreign students were actually becoming really good friends. Like they, you know, they were starting to get at each other's throats in all this. And I thought that things were not going to go well there. But then once they skipped out of class, we saw them actually, uh, you know, spend time just having fun together and learning about each other's differences and saying, hey, you guys aren't so weird or bad or whatever after all. You know, like their their preconceived notions one by one were kind of getting stripped away and they were just enjoying each other's company. And you could see that they were applying the lessons that they had already learned at the school prior to the rules kind of ruining the, the classroom settings that had been developed and stuff. So the, the school was definitely being effective you know, when, when they were allowed to teach the material in a way that made sense. Um, what is it? And I, I'm, I'm, what I'm really surprised about, though, is just how quickly and how, um, they, they became friends and how strong that bond of friendship is. I mean, they ran away from their respective homes all the way back to Equestria to hide out and be together. That's some serious dedication there. I mean, this is like CMC level of, of friendship bonding here. So... That um that was really cool, and then, of course their their guardians, you know, the rulers of their kingdoms were largely offended by all this stuff, and then just you know that at e accusing each other of stealing away their kids or whatever, and just you know going right to emotional overreactions and stuff right away. And of course they all wanted to just you know bail out and head home afterwards, but um, yeah, I was happy to see the students just kind of standing firm and saying that hey, we want to stay at school and learn because. We were actually learning here, and we've got, you know, Twilight and friends are promising that they're going to fix things and do it the proper way again. And, hey, if that was going to happen, I would I would have been right there standing up for that, too, because it, that school was a lot of fun, you know, the, the way it looked before the EEA kind of wrecked things, or the, I should say the EEA rules kind of wrecked things. <sighs> So, and, and I also love the fact that Celestia kind of smacked down Chancellor Nese at the end there, too, stating that, you know, hey, the, you know, seems like it wasn't too long ago we had, you know, we had the same kind of problem where the, you know, the tribes were not all together in harmony. They probably had segregated schools and like, you know, we need to share our knowledge and experience with everyone, not just our own tribes. Uh, so... Yeah, a little bit of a slap in the face there. I, obviously, it wasn't extremely effective because the way he exited, it's like, well, clearly he's not done with this. So we'll have to see where all that goes. But uh, I, I really hope he's not kind of like the overarching villain this season because, I mean, he's a very interesting antagonist, don't get me wrong, but he doesn't really scream like, you know, ultimate arch villain. So they have plenty of other things they can they can do, though. So, I mean, a Chrysalis is still out there. Who knows who else... They're going to come up with for villains, so there's plenty of options there yet, but it, uh, we'll be curious to see how this uh, story thread plays out throughout the season. 
but anyway, um, oh, and as uh, just one last note on there, um, you know, I was gonna say, who 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 cares if the school is accredited or not? I'm, I'm glad uh, Twilight finally got past that. It's like really accreditation, as far as I know, only matters if you're trying to like transfer credits from one school to another. You know, it proves that you've. If you're accredited, it proves that you've uh, reached a level of, of, you know, standards in your education so that, you know, it's proof when you go to another school that you have actually learned the material you were supposed to have learned already. Like, this is a brand new, completely 100% unique kind of school. You're not going to be transferring it anywhere else. And furthermore, it's not the point. I mean, the, the goal of this is to grow friendships and whatever. I mean, when, you, when you've got... All these different kingdoms and allies all enjoying each other's you know company and you know freely exchanging knowledge and information and trade and and so on and so forth i mean that's the proof that your education worked not some stupid piece of paper paper hanging on the wall so <laughs> the proof is in the results so anyway but yeah um Stage is now set for the events of this season. Um, very, very interesting setup. Uh, so many different ways they could go with this now. I, I, I love this fresh infusion of, of storylines they've, they've given us now. So much new stuff to work with. Um, and I love that it's also still centered around the cutie map because I've said before that is such a, a really nifty plot device. It's, it's one that can be used very effectively without being overused. So I'm glad to see that they're finally developing that further. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just wondering if we're gonna get, I, I hope these new, you know, young six are not too much in the background. I hope we have episodes focusing on each one of them. Um, you know, I, I would love to see, like, field trips to some of these neighboring, you know, nations and stuff for them to, you know, experience each other's cultures, not just the pony cultures in Equestria. Uh, that could lead to some really interesting stuff, too. Maybe I'll get my, my, uh, Griffins episode with Gilda in them. I, who knows? Let's see. I'm wondering, of course, are the CMC is going to be in, involved in this. Um, yeah, they, they do definitely seem to still be younger than the students. They, they, I think this is the first time we've seen a school setting in Equestria where it's, like, teenagers or young adults, not so much like, you know, young foals and stuff. So uh, I'm not sure how that will will line up, but uh, still want the CMCs to be called by the map. And, you know, we never got... I know people have said, well, they need a chaperone because they're so young. Well, that may be true. Just going back to the Season 6 premiere, Twilight had suggested that Starlight go out on a mission with the CMCs. And we still haven't seen that happen yet. So that could be a thing we might finally see this season. Well, we'll see. Um, also curious about the historical aspects that have gotten thrown into this. You know, they made a very specific point of calling out the name of the castle of the two sisters. We haven't even seen that castle since, I think, season four was the last time we saw it. Unless you count the alternate, uh, timeline, um, for Nightmare Moon in season five. But, uh, you know, that and then, uh, Oscillus was saying that Twilight was teaching about pre-equestrian, uh, friendships. Well... In recent events, that we've also got the pillars back, who can teach stuff from the old days of Equestria, um, and we've all uh, Twilight got access to that restricted wing in the Canterlot Library that has all a bunch of like pre-Equestrian texts and stuff. So, yeah, I think we're going to be taking some more dives into Equestria's past here, and that could really reveal some interesting things for us. So, see how that plays out, and. Uh, I just one last thing to mention briefly. I'm aware the um, elements of Harmony Gems are on the school flag, uh, and we've got that green gem in there. And I've made a big deal about that in the season seven finale. So, yeah, I'm not sure where they're going with that. Hopefully, that will be explained at some point. Still wondering if there's going to be another element, but it doesn't really feel like they're going that way right now. Maybe just reusing some old, you know, artwork. So. We'll just see. A lot of possibilities. We'll see where the, what they have time to get into. So, all right, I gotta wrap this up. It's been a really long commentary, but there's just so much material in this in this uh, premiere to cover. It just I, I had to get it all out there. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, hope you enjoyed going through this with me. And I will look forward to seeing more episodes this season. So, see you then.